side quite a bit, um, in and out. Um, going through a traumatic time in my life, going through my divorce at that time, um, it was something that I thought about regularly, but I always, in the back of my mind, just kept telling myself, this, is, this isn't right, this isn't right. And the things that led up to the day, that day that I saw, just kind of validated that it wouldn't matter if I was here or not, that um, everybody was gonna be okay without me. At this point, one day, um, everything had just kind of piled up. Um, I had saw someone that I loved very dearly with someone else, so it just validated that I wasn't needed here on this earth. So that evening, I decided that between me and God, I was ready to go home. I feel that God gives us one special thing and that's life. And at this point, I was ready to make the decision for him to just leave. So I took a very large amount of pills and some and drank alcohol. Um, I could feel myself coming in and out of consciousness. And um, at the very end part, as I was laying in my hallway, I felt utter peace, which is what I was looking for. But at that time, I felt what I can only explain as God or the Holy Spirit come behind me and wrap his arms around me. And he told me I had to get up. I'm not done with you yet. This isn't this isn't the end. This isn't where I want you to finish. He told me to get up, to move, to drink water. And you know, I think God brings special people into our lives in different seasons. And in this season of my life, there was a really good friend and I called her um, because her husband was a paramedic. And I thought, oh, she can save me. She's going to save me. Um, but that just wasn't the case at that point. You know, I think sometimes we try to validate our actions and what we're doing. So I was validating to her that I was going to be fine, that I didn't need anybody, which is something I always think. I don't need anyone. I can do this all on my own. Um, but I was a lot sicker than I thought, and they took me to the emergency room. Um, meeting my daughter there, her having to be pushing her into adulthood at that moment, caring for her mom um, in a very dark time. By the end of this, the staff in the emergency room was just amazed at actually how well I was rebounding and coming back. Um, I had one nurse say, it's a miracle. You're just a miracle. I didn't feel like a miracle, but I knew God had something in store for me. Um, just before discharge that day, the chaplain of the hospital was standing in my doorway, and I asked him to pray for me. And at this point, still being ashamed of what I had done, I couldn't even look him in the face. I couldn't even look at him as he prayed with me. But I knew in some small way, still feeling totally lost, still feeling totally abandoned, that God had me. After I took all this,
So I came to Mountain Movers that Sunday morning and it totally changed my life. Um, I felt like I was at home. I was at peace. The people here were so friendly and open. There was no conviction. Nobody was looking at me like, um, you've done this wrong thing, you know. So I started to see people sign up for baptism. And uh, I just thought to myself, I'm never going to be able to do that. How could I be baptized? How could God forgive me for trying to, to take my own life? Um, but as the years went on, I kept seeing these people being baptized and they would come out of that water and they were ecstatic. They were happy, relieved. Uh, signs of peace would come over their face. And I can just remember Brad and Misty always say that once you go into the water, all that past is just going with you. It's just, it's gone. And as you come up, as you come out of that water, that you start over, you're clean, you're forgiven. It's a chance to start a new life, a new part of your Christian journey um, to just be closer to God. On June the 3rd, 2018, um, was a baptism bash. Um, the weeks leading up to it, I was very conflicted. I would go back and forth. Should I? Should I not? Um, am, I, am I ready? Uh, I had attended C3 conference, and I was set on fire. I was just um, on this quest with God, and... The weeks leading up to it, I just didn't know. So it was probably about three days before Sunday, and I just signed up online. I just went on there, and I signed up, and still not knowing whether I was going to do it or not. I mean, I had signed up for first service, but then I thought, no, I'm going to wait. And even that morning coming in here, I didn't know whether I was going to go through with it or not. I felt excited and um, I don't know, just overjoyed, but yet there was still that tiny bit of me, even with how far I had come in my journey, that I still felt, oh, is, am I ready? Am I ready? Is God going to truly forgive me for what I had done? And I can remember going in and putting on my baptism shirt taken off my shoes and I was still, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready. But God was just telling me, this is your time. This is where I want you to be and this is the day that he had made for me to do it. I was walking down the aisle and I was seeing all this, what I considered my new family, all my friends and family and the sanctuary was just full. And you know, you're just scared. You're like, I don't know if I should do this. And so at that moment when my foot hit that first step, it was nothing but utter peace. I mean, I was excited. I was ready for everything to be washed away, for me to get up there and profess my faith to my new family, to everyone around me. As my foot hit that water, every emotion from the time that I had tried to commit suicide, even in my childhood, everything that I had done wrong, everything that I had done, um, it just, at first it just flooded me. It was like, oh my gosh, I thought this was going to be a good thing and all these emotions were coming through me and I was scared, yet I was ready. I was so ready. And as Misty and Jake laid me back in that water, it was like a ton of bricks lifted off of my shoulders all of the, the shame, all of the regret, all of the anger, all of the hurt, all of the, it was your fault, your fault, no, your fault, just disappeared. As I took that huge breath before I went under, and when I came up and I took my first breath, it was literally like being born again. The peace that came over me was unbelievable. I can't even describe to you how happy 
I was. And these are not tears of sadness, but of complete and utter joy. It was just amazing. When I came out, there was no hopelessness anymore. I felt alive. I felt happy. I was excited about what God was going to do for me and what this journey was going to be like. It was, it was being born again. I had this whole new life in front of me, and I was so excited about what God had in store. From that day, it was like a new beginning for me. I was able to open up in life groups about my story, about bringing things to light, giving hope to other people. And I found myself getting even more and more involved in my word. And every day I just hungered for more of him to pour into me. And it was approached to me that I would become the first impressions leader. At first I was really, really hesitant. But remembering that baptism, remembering that joy and that I had this whole bright future ahead of me, um, God just started pouring into me. And although I was kind of reluctant at first, I jumped into this leadership position and um, it has been an amazing journey so far. I just can't reiterate enough how much baptism it gave me that beginning. It gave me that hope. It gave me that confidence to step out of my shell and become a leader and to become closer to Christ. And you know, being so low, being at the lowest point of my life, to now being your first impressions leader, I think there is no one ever too dirty. There is nothing that you could have ever done that God can forgive you and he can make you clean and he can bring you to this beautiful point that I'm at in my life. And being baptized and having that new beginning, I am just so totally blessed to have an amazing family here at Mount Universe Church. So if you're sitting there and you're thinking, I'm not worthy. There is nothing. I've done something so bad that I can't do this. You're not, and you are worth it. And if my story can help you take that step out of that seat and help you to the next step to be baptized, then God has worked through me and he'll work through you.